today I'm going to show you a video on currency exchange. So have you ever needed to change currency into another one before you go on holiday? Or have you ever got to the till in a shop and they ask you whether you want to pay in pounds or in euros and you've no idea which one to choose? Well, currency exchange is to do with those problems. So it's really useful if you understand currency exchange so that you get the best deal for you and you make the right decision. So I'm going to pretend I'm changing dollars into euros. I've got $1,350 that I'm going to turn into euros and this is what we call the exchange rate. So for every one euro, I'll get $1.313. So in this question, we're changing dollars into euros. So I need to work out whether I'm going to be multiplying or dividing by this number here, okay? We've really got a 50-50 chance of getting this question right. So to get from this number to the number one, well, I have to divide it by itself because whenever you divide a number by itself, you always get one. So that means we have to do the same with this amount of money. I have to take that amount of dollars that I've got to spend and I'm going to divide it by 1.313. And that will tell me how many euros I will get in exchange for my dollars. So take your calculator, divide those numbers, and the answer is, and remember this is now in euros, and I'm going to round to two decimal places so that it's to the nearest centime. Okay, so that's my euros that I get in return, 1,028.18. So just as a little check, just to make sure you've done it right, when you look at the currency exchange, notice how the number for dollars is greater than it is for euros. So when you compare your amount here with dollars, it should be the same. The dollars should be more than the euros. Well, if I compare this number, 1,350, with 1,028, I can see clearly that, yes, the dollars is a bigger number than for the euros. So I know I've done it correctly. Okay, let me do another one. I've got a rather interesting example about how you can make profit using currency exchange because remember the currency exchange is not going to stay the same forever it fluctuates it's always going to change a little bit so if you change your money back at the right time you could get a really good deal and you could end up making money so here's my example in May I changed 25,000 pounds into dollars when the exchange rate was this okay and in October, I changed the dollars back into pounds when the exchange rate was this, okay? Calculate the profit I made in pounds. So to begin with, we're changing pounds into dollars. So for the first part here, okay? So I'm going to take my pounds here, 25,000, and I'm going to try and work out what that is in dollars. So remember, to change, you're either timesing or dividing by the number that's not 1. So to get from 1 to this number, well, we have to multiply it by 1.96. Because 1 times 1.96 gives me the 1.96. So I have to do the same with the money that I'm exchanging. So I have to multiply that by 1.96 in order to turn it into dollars. Okay, so pop that in the calculator. That gives me a nice whole number. So I've got $49,000, okay? So this is how much I've got now in dollars. I'm gonna hold on to that money until October. And now I'm going to change it back into pounds. So the exchange rate has changed, okay? Now, remember this time we're doing it the other way around. This time we're changing dollars into pounds. So to get from this number 1.75 to 1, remember you're either multiplying or dividing by this number. Well, if you divide this number by itself, so 1.75 divided by 1.75, you get 1. So we have to do the same with the $49,000. So, $49,000 divided by 1.75 and that will turn my money back into pounds. 
So let's work that out. So 49,000 divided by 1.75, and that gives me 28,000 pounds. So in just a few months, we've made an excellent profit because we started with 25,000 pounds, and now in October, we've got 28,000 pounds. So to work out the profit, will you just subtract the two to find the difference? Okay, you probably already worked out what it is. So the profit was 3,000 pounds. So see, just by understanding currency exchange, if you get lucky, you can make a profit. Okay, I've got one more to finish. Okay, so in this last example, we've got a scenario where we want to buy something and we want to know which currency is best to pay in. So the price of a toy is 24 euros or $30. What is the difference in the price on a day when the exchange rate is this? Give your answer in dollars to the nearest cent. So we want both of our prices in dollars. Well, this one's fine, this one's already in dollars. So we need to change that 24 euros into dollars. So we're changing euros into dollars. Remember, to do this conversion, it's one of two. It's either multiplying or dividing by this number here, the one that's not one. So to get from the number one to here, you have to multiply. Because one multiplied by 1.2378, gives us 1.2378. So we have to do the same with our 24 euros. So we've got 24 euros and we're multiplying in this question. Okay, so pop that in your calculator. And that gives me, remember it's now in dollars. So this is 29.7072. So, we can already see that this is less than that $30. So, it's actually cheaper to pay in euros than in dollars. So, the question says, okay, what does it say? What's the difference in the price? So, don't forget to find the difference. So, we're going to subtract. So, we're going to do 30 minus our answer that we've just worked out. Okay, so when I do that, I get... 0 0.2928. Just be careful because we haven't finished. It does say give your answer to the nearest cent, which means to two decimal places, which would leave us with just 0 0.29 because this two doesn't round that nine up. So that is the difference in price. So it's not very much, but if you want to next time you're on a plane and they ask you whether you want to pay in euros or pounds or if you're in a shop, if you want to try and work out which currency is cheaper, ask them what the exchange rate is, okay, and then you can get out your calculator or your phone calculator. Okay, so that's all from me for today and goodbye.